Right, come on. Give me something good. Four legendaries. Oh yeah. Wait, that's a head. I don't want that. <laughs>Hey guys, we're Wade here, back with another video, and today we are playing Borderlands 3. More specifically, we are playing the True Trial of Discipline. So I'm really looking forward to this, and we'll be getting straight into it. But before we do, I just want to mention, thank you very much for all the support you guys have given me. I finally hit 100 subscribers. I didn't think I would do it, uh, but there's still a lot of you that haven't subscribed, so please check me out and give me a, hit that like button and give me a subscribe. Right, for now, let's just get straight into the game and attempt this true trial. So to unlock this trial, you need to have completed the game. Once you've done that, if you head over to the Meridian outskirts, more specifically fast travelling to the drop pod, you can easily find the mission just around the corner, pick up that trial of discipline, and from that point onwards, you've got it, and you can just go and crack it out. So that's where the location is, and it's on to the proving ground of discipline. So on with the trial, uh, before we get into this trial though, I will just go through my build that I'm using this week. So I'm using my new flak build, it's a Vladoff flak build, I'm using Vladoff weapons and the Vladoff company man. As you can see I'm getting increased uh, reload speed, mag size, accuracy and I'm also getting health regen with this. Using a bounty hunter, this is increasing my pistol damage and shield capacity and the bounty hunter is just the, um, the class one that works best for this build. Got a stopgap, a hunter seeker, and then a bunch of Vladoff weapons. So we've got the light, we've got a corrosive light show, monarch, a incendiary light show. We've got like Yuda on us, and we've got a couple of other Vladoff guns. Uh, let me put it in manufacture. There we go. So we've got a couple more Vladoff guns with us. We've got some phasers. Um, another couple of monarchs uh, more importantly we've got back burners which are a great addition to this build and we may be using those for a little bit during this run onto the skill tree um so we've gone quite heavy in the master skill tree um, i won't go into it too much if you want to try and replicate this feel free to pause and have a crack at it we've got the hunter skill tree we've gone very heavy into this which is all good and we've gone not well we've, we just put some spare points in our stalker skill tree i mean i say spare points it was just kind of buffing up my pet um overall this is like very critical hit much a critical hit build and it work. it seems to work quite well i'm enjoying using it it does still need a little bit of heat of tweaking um i wouldn't say it's raid ready just yet so on to the actual trial itself so i don't know how this build's gonna cope with this trial um at the end we've got that um armored boss type enemy it's like genevieve but smaller and um, shouldn't be too much of a problem with my corrosive light show um the two specific drops for this week are the chaosin which is a really really good gun for the base game and you can get it by farming tron if you wanted it to get out of the way uh the other the other one is uh the flipper which is another great gun that you get from the bounty of blood dlc both are really good smgs both are really worth farming um they are already relatively easy to farm so don't feel like you just have to do this um yeah, you just have to do this sort of um, trial to get it. Well, overall, it's not going too bad. We've gone down once. I mean, this build is still very much in the development stages. I've just um, been busy with other projects. Is where my time has been going recently. That and working. Hopefully, the boss at the end isn't too draining. Um, but I'm still getting like PTSD uh, memories from going up against the, the Skag of Survival. That thing was tanky. I think the I think the worst thing about the Skag of Survival, like I don't want to like be negative about it at all. Like it was still quite fun, but um, the rewards and the first 
victory trial weren't the best. Se uh, the second week, they definitely got better. The Skullmasher is a really good um, sniper and was a really Don't nice reward. Back. But um, the Flip and the Chaosin this week, that's awesome. Those are two really quality guns and you will find them in, you will find that, I wouldn't be surprised if you found them in many like all land top 10 lists. Flipper is a very, very good gun. Alright, yeah. Right, yeah. I mean, Monarch's, I've got, the Monarch's also a very good gun. I'm getting, I get this from um, farming Killer Vault. Uh, this build's not doing it justice at the moment. Like I say, that I'm very much in development phase of it. I haven't been able to do a, well, I've, I've done a raid by the skin of my teeth. It, I wouldn't say this build's raid ready, like I couldn't farm it. Uh, but I've, it's handling the takedowns okay, particularly the Malawan takedown okay. That's partly because of my corrosive light show though, if I'm really honest. Sort of shreds Potan. Survivability is definitely an improvement, like my Mo's build does struggle every now and then, like I go down quite a lot. But survivability of a flak is relatively good, especially when you've got the um, the ability for your pet to revive you. So I should be using this in mode. Do do I am plowing through ammo, I just realised how much I used and gone through. Oh, Alright. Here we go. <laughs> go away. Get in first. Alright, just wipe you out. And we can wipe you out. There we go. Next. You. Now you. <laughs> it is just shredding them though. It is, this is really fun. I do love Vladoff. Like, the reason why I went with a Vladoff build is because Vladoff is my. Uh, favorite manufacturer, closely followed by Malawan. Um, the light show is up there as one of my favorite guns. I think a lot of people use it because of how good the light show is. Um, I do have a soft spot for the plasma coil though, and that's obviously a Malawan gun. <laughs> I might do a Malawan build with Zane or Mose. I'm a lot better at the um, Zane and Mose builds. Just because um, I prefer playing as Zane, like I sort of main Zane if I'm honest. I'm gonna try and use the Laida for a little bit and see how this goes. I haven't been going into Fade Away, have I? Oh, blimey, okay, that, that works. Yikes. I mean, I'm going for ammo like no other. Oh god. Uh, I'm not doing too much damage, but. She's still doing. Being really, pretty ruthless. Problem with the snipe with uh, the blade is ammo for something. Ah, there you go. Right on time. Let's uh, change that to a back burner, I reckon. Let's get this storming back burner out and have a play with this. Oh, I'm trying to conserve my uh, pistol ammo for the the boss because I feel like oh my god yeah I feel like if the boss is anything like the sky to survival I'm gonna need my ammo <laughs> and I kind of need come on my arm come on there we go I was gonna say you're not dead nice let's do it nicely all right you're next Ouch. Oh, it's falling. We cannot survive that. What? Uh, this is a storming backbone. You done? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I just shot that at point blank. Oh, still here. Ah. <laughs> just 
bigger then. It's going down quite nicely. One of these guys. Let's do some hunter seekers. Yikes. Reload and unload. Right, let's start being... Oh, brutal. Cool, we're still in this, doing quite well. I kind of just want to see my hair soon flipper. Lay down. There you go. Oh. Is that guy over there still alive? No. Surely not. Uh, can you not? <laughs> Go away! <laughs> that was crazy. Alright, let's do this. Let's go wipe out this boss of the discipline. I'm gonna grab some ammo in this room quickly while I'm here. Alright, I'm hoping that my corrosive light show just sort of handles this. I'm kind of expecting it to go down like that. We've got plenty of ammo for the life, so this shouldn't be too bad. Oh, there he is. Go. That's not too bad. I've seen worse. Do 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 do. Just gonna keep on loading on him. <laughs> Throw a couple of grenades out. Wow. He's going down quite nicely. The light show is definitely cutting it. Yeah, I would say this is doing nicely. Come on, we got ya, we got ya. Wow, that's blinding. Apologies if you can't handle the, uh, the lighting. We'll probably put a warning in for there. Then once, we've used just over half our ammo though, so that is concerning. Uh, maybe we should start him off with, you know, Mark. How are we doing? Is that a dent in him? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, we might stick with the corrosive light show. Come on. You are tanky, which is very characteristic of all the true trial bosses at the moment. I think next week we're going to be using Amara. I have no idea what build I'm going to be doing though. I think I might just use my old Berserker, Amara. And we're definitely going to have to keep working on this Vlad of Flak build. I think some of the gear I need, I just need to be a bit more catered to the build. Like, I need the company man to have a damage boost as well as mag size and reload speed. That's kind of what I want. And then a better class mod would be a nice addition. Boom. Done. Just finish that one off. Go finish that one off for us. A beast. Well, what have we got here? We've got a hazardous flipper. Corrosive and radiation, not a bad one. I've seen better. 
And another hazardous flipper. So we've got, wait, we've got two flippers? We've got two flippers. I can't even take that because my inventory is full, but if I'm honest, I don't think I want that. Nah. I don't even want that last one. Let's see what we get in the, uh, the chest at the end. I want to trade out some gear, though. Right, come on. Give me something good. Four legendaries. Oh, yeah. Wait, that's a head. I don't want that. <laughs> Rerouser. A recharge. Oh, a speed recovery recharger. Hold on. I might want that. Maybe I'm, I'm well, I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out my channel for more Weird Way content. I'll be back to complete the true trial next week, so I'll be looking forward to that. Doing other stuff in the meantime, and uh, I'll keep working on this Vlad or Flak build. But for now, it's goodbye from me.